11 Alive exclusive, thousands of people and their sensitive information are found floating around on the internet by a woman who said she simply Googled her name and then discovered, much to her horror, that there were all kinds of bits of her information of her past and her present. We're talking about social security cards, passports, driver's license, and even more. And they were in a folder mm. on the DeKalb County Schools mm. website, that folder accessible to anybody. Joe Henke has been digging into this story since the tip came into our newsroom. Joe? Well, Cheryl, after a mother Googled her name and discovered thousands of images showing personal and sensitive information, she called our newsroom. I called DeKalb County Schools Thursday morning and informed them this data was online. A district spokesman told me an hour ago the data had been uploaded online since 2016, but was secured until a cloud-based server crashed in late December. The data was then unprotected and open to anyone online as that crash had corrupted security software. When Felina Hood recently Googled her name, she did not know what she would find. And I clicked on it thinking, is, is this real? So when I clicked on it, then I saw that it was connected to DeKalb County Schools. And so I clicked on the actual web link and that's when I saw a file with all these people's um, IDs and passports and things. A picture on Google of her driver's license linked to what is called an FTP folder. It did not require a password and would open for anyone with internet access who stumbled upon it. I was kind of like in shock. I was like, I don't really think this is normal. I talked to my oldest daughter and I said, you know, my information is on here. My driver's license with DeKalb County. And I think I need to like call 11 Alive or somebody because this doesn't seem okay. Hood called our newsroom asking for help. The folder contains subfolders dated 2016, 17, 18, and 19 with more than 3,000 files inside, including 2,700 plus images of driver's licenses, more than 80 images of passports, along with several social security cards and green cards. I think they do need to go and, and individually contact and let them know that this was on for, you know, I don't know if they even know how long it was really uploaded, but let them know. Approximately an hour after I called DeKalb County Schools Thursday and emailed the link to the district offices, the folder stopped opening and now displays an error message. The images, though, still appeared in Google search results for several hours. The tech company confirmed this morning with 11 Alive by email the situation was handled and the images are no longer appearing in Google Images. So how did this happen? A statement from the district reads in part that a limited number of photos and driver's licenses and social security cards were inadvertently accessible in a file transfer protocol or FTP folder of the DCSD website. The files belonged to individuals that had applied for appeals of their graduation status in both 2016 and 17 and were uploaded to a public folder of the website instead of a secured location containing the other portions of the graduation appeals application. Those files became accessible after a December 22nd server crash. Hood, though, says she sent her ID to the district not to appeal a graduation decision, but when she volunteered with the district and applied for a substitute teacher position. The folder also contained paperwork with Social Security numbers from people requesting transcripts. Hood now wants to know who is responsible for handling sensitive information for DeKalb schools. And like, what are the qualifications <laughs> to get into the department and who's, you know, um, who's holding the team accountable? Mm -hmm. And because people's sensitive information remained online until this morning, we did not report the story until today when we confirmed all of the data was no longer publicly available. I'm told DeKalb schools have also put additional security measures in place to avoid an issue like this in the future. I asked a district spokesman today if anyone is being held accountable for the upload of data online and was told DeKalb County schools are still reviewing the situation. will take necessary actions regarding personnel and technical issues as warranted. Jeff. So, Jeff, this is somewhat of a simple question, but I think it's a very important one, and that is, Hopefully the district is contacting people impacted, right? Jeff, they're working through that right now. They were able to track analytics uh, or web data showing only a limited number of these files were accessed, thankfully. Right now the district is trying to contact those people individually and inform them of the situation. All right, Joe, thanks. We appreciate it. Wow, incredible.